Towerborn is a game I have very much been looking forward to. After all, I love beat-em-ups and I adore ARPGs. So the fact that this game was going to blend these two genres sounded like music to my ears. A 2D side-scrolling brawler with loot and theory crafting? Sign me up. Diablo meets Streets of Rage, or as real fans know it as, Bare Knuckle. However, after Games Kong and watching some of the deep dives into Towerborn, I have to admit, there was some information that kind of turned me off. In the reveal trailer for this game, it was announced that it would be coming in 2024. Hell, it was even announced that it would be a day one Game Pass title. Play it day one with Game Pass. A 2024 day one Game Pass title that I was actually excited for. Except for there's one problem. We're in August. Hell, we're almost in September. 2024 is quickly coming to a close. And I kept wondering, where was the release date? Is this game another one that's gonna be delayed? But then I would read headlines like this and it would put my mind at ease where the developers would reassure fans the game was still coming this year. But then this happened and a massive bomb was dropped on us. So yeah, after all the headlines, this is another game that's basically delayed until 2025. But you know what? That's okay. It's really not that big of a deal. Hell, with all the games coming from Xbox Studios this year, I am actually happy that this one got delayed. Otherwise, my backlog would be too massive. I mean, how am I supposed to keep up with Indiana Jones, Avowed, and Towerborn? It's good they pushed one of them until next year. I mean, just one Xbox title being pushed back is not that bad, right? Don't! Like, come on, Microsoft. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this tweet of a vow being delayed was from August 2nd, just weeks before GamesCon, and they make it abundantly clear that they want to delay it in order to give the other games on this list more time to breathe and shine. Hell, they even list Towerborn with a release date of 2024. Yeah, released on the Steam in early access. Good job, guys. Keep up the great work. I mean, it begs the question, was this idea of early access a last minute decision? Was it always going to be entered into early access? If it was planned as an early access launch, why did it keep revealing and having headlines and tweets talking about how it's coming in 2024? It just feels completely misleading from their marketing department. In fact, this was not the only massive bomb dropped on us during GamesCon. Brace yourself, guys. You may want to take a seat because I'm about to say three words that makes every old school gamer roll their eyes. Free to play. Did anyone actually expect Towerborn to be a free to play game? What happened to this? At day one with Game Pass. Why for the past year was this game being advertised as a day one Game Pass title if it's simply a free to play game? Come on. In fact, I don't even know what Game Pass members are going to get. Are they going to get freeze cosmetics? Don't know. Like, come on guys, what was with the advertisement? Why didn't you just reveal this game as a free to play game in the first place? Was this decision made recently or did you just wait to drop the bomb on us after you built up the hype? Now look, I will admit, according to the Steam page, no weapons, gear, or any forms of power progression will be locked behind a paywall. Great, I like hearing stuff like that. But of course, there's a but. And it's a big but. Not only are cosmetics going to be sold, but must have convenience items. What does this even mean? Look, I don't like free to play, I prefer buy to play, but I could accept that some titles, it just works better for the developer. And I could get past stash tabs or cosmetics as microtransactions. I just really wished that a single person at GamesCon would have talked to the developers and got more clarification about this game's monetization method. Look, every free to play game promises that nothing game altering will be locked behind a paywall. And then they use like tricky words to make you believe that it's true. So the fact that this game is going to have must have convenience items, is just kind of a red flag to me. 
Is this going to be one of the better free to play games like Path of Exile? Or is it going to be another example of a greedy developer trying to nickel and dime us over every little thing? Personally, I can look past the delay. Hell, I can even look past the game entering Steam Early Access and not Xbox Game Preview. My problem is I want to know more about the game's monetization because I would even consider entering the Early Access and paying the $25 and give feedback to the developers about the game. I've been extremely excited about this for the past year. I just need to know like what exactly is going to be monetized? What perks do Game Pass members get? This is all a very important information and I feel like it was just massively over what at GamesCon. Like how did no one even bring this up? I've gone from being very excited to being cautiously optimistic. But I would love to hear what you all think. Are you guys still excited for Towerborn? What do you think about it entering Steam Early Access before it hits Xbox? And how do you feel about the game being free to play? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.